The Ryan FR Fireball, America's first jet-powered fighter. The Ryan FR Fireball, a pioneering mixed-power fighter, was developed for the United States Navy during World War II. Its unique combination of a piston engine and a jet engine made it the Navy's first aircraft with a jet power plant. Design began in 1943 under the guidance of Admiral John S. McCain Sr. The FR-1's design featured a 1,350 horsepower Wright R-18-2072 W radial engine in the nose and a General Electric I-16 turbojet at the rear, offering a combination of power and speed. Although only 66 aircraft were built before Japan's surrender in 1945, it represented an important step in the evolution of naval aviation. Despite its technological breakthrough, the Fireball faced challenges that prevented its operational success, particularly in carrier operations. <laughs> 2. Design and Development of the Fireball In response to Admiral McCain's proposal for a mixed-powered fighter, Ryan Aeronautical designed the FR-1 Fireball an aircraft that combined the power of a piston engine with the speed of a jet. The design, which began in 1943, included a 1,350 horsepower right radial engine and a 1,600 pound force turbojet engine mounted in the rear fuselage. These engines were powered by a common fuel system that simplified logistics. The aircraft's design featured a thick wing structure to house engine ducts and retractable landing gear. Despite several design revisions, including an upgraded tail and flaps, the Fireball faced structural weaknesses and issues during testing. Prototypes suffered crashes due to compressibility effects and problems with wing strength were identified. Despite this, the FR-1 Fireball was groundbreaking for its time. 3. The Challenges of the FR-1 Fireball's Flight Testing the development of the FR-1 Fireball was marked by several technical challenges during its flight testing. The first prototype flew on June 25, 1944, but lacked its jet engine. After the jet engine was installed, further testing revealed issues with the aircraft's stability and wing structure. The center of gravity was miscalculated, leading to instability in flight. Additionally, the Fireball suffered from compressibility effects during high-speed maneuvers, resulting in two prototypes crashing in late 1944 and early 1945. A redesign of the tail and wing structure, including the doubling of rivets in the outer wings, improved stability, but the aircraft still faced overheating issues with the piston engine. Despite these challenges, the Fireball showed promise in carrier operations, leading to further modifications and continued testing by the United States Navy. 4. The FR-1 Fireball in Carrier Testing In early 1945, the United States Navy began testing the FR-1 Fireball aboard aircraft carriers. These tests were critical to determining whether the aircraft could operate effectively in the demanding environment of naval carrier operations. The Fireball performed well during catapult takeoffs, demonstrating its ability to launch using both the piston and jet engines. However, the aircraft struggled with several issues, including overheating of the piston engine and nose wheel problems. Despite these setbacks, the Fireball showed its potential, making several successful landings on the escort carrier Charger. The Navy recognized its utility, but also identified its limitations, particularly the need for modifications to the landing gear and other structural adjustments. By mid-1945, the FR-1 Fireball was one of the Navy's experimental aircraft, paving the way for future advancements in jet-powered carrier fighters. 5. The FR-1 Fireball's Role During World War II The FR-1 Fireball was introduced too late in World War II to see combat, but it played a critical role in the United States Navy's efforts to integrate jet technology into carrier aviation. A single squadron, VF-66, was equipped with the Fireball in March 1945, but the aircraft did not see combat before Japan's surrender. The squadron attempted to qualify pilots aboard the aircraft carrier Ranger, but several accidents occurred during the qualification process. Notably, an FR-1 pilot of VF-41 became the first to land a jet-powered aircraft on a carrier on November 6, 1945. However, the Fireball's operational history was limited, as it was plagued by structural issues and was withdrawn from service by 1947. Despite its brief operational life, the Fireball was an important milestone in naval aviation history.
6. Post-war testing and withdrawal of the FR-1 Fireball After World War II, the FR-1 Fireball faced continued challenges in carrier operations. Despite several modifications, including improved landing gear and wing reinforcements, the aircraft was unable to meet the durability requirements for sustained carrier operations. VF-1 Echo, the squadron that operated the Fireball post-war, conducted additional carrier qualifications aboard the escort carrier Bedoing Strait in 1947. However, issues with the nose gear and wing structure persisted, leading to several accidents. The Fireball was unable to endure the repeated stresses of carrier landings, and by August 1947, it was withdrawn from service. While a few aircraft remained for modifications and testing, the Fireball was ultimately scrapped. Its brief operational history and the lessons learned from its testing played a role in the development of more robust jet-powered naval fighters in the years that followed. 7. The Legacy of the Ryan FR Fireball Although the Ryan FR Fireball's operational history was short-lived, its legacy as the United States Navy's first jet-powered aircraft remains significant. The Fireball's mixed power configuration, combining a piston engine and a turbojet, was a key step in the evolution of jet aircraft for carrier operations. Although it did not see combat or achieve long-term success, the FR-1 played an important role in naval aviation history by demonstrating the potential of combining jet and piston power. The aircraft's development provided valuable lessons in the integration of jet engines on aircraft carriers, influencing future naval aircraft designs. Despite its early retirement, the Fireball's groundbreaking design paved the way for the successful use of jet-powered fighters in the United States Navy, marking a crucial chapter in the evolution of carrier-based aviation. 8. The Fireball's Role in Testing the Navy's First Jet Engine The Ryan FR Fireball was the United States Navy's first aircraft to feature a jet engine, and its development marked an important milestone in naval aviation. The aircraft was designed to address the challenges of early jet engines which had slow acceleration that made them unsuitable for carrier operations. As a solution, the Fireball incorporated both a piston engine and a jet engine. This mixed power configuration allowed the aircraft to combine the reliability and performance of a piston engine with the speed and power of a jet. Testing revealed several issues with the aircraft's design, including structural weaknesses and stability problems. However, the Fireball provided valuable insights that helped the Navy improve its future jet-powered aircraft and better understand the challenges of operating jet engines from aircraft carriers.